Nitro, your favorite beast, out here with Leah Graham. Leah, for the people who don't know you, you know, introduce yourself to the fans. Let everybody know exactly, you know, what you do and um, what do you offer. Oh, hi, Nitro. Thank you so much for coming out to my side of town. I really appreciate yes. that. Uh, it was wonderful to meet you at the first time yes. uh, when I got my pro card, which was an awesome, huge step in my career. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a fitness instructor, and um, I would do it part-time, though it is really my full-time job. I uh, used to have a full-time job, mm -hmm. but I didn't anymore, which was actually a blessing in disguise. Right. Kind of helped me to figure out how I was going to break into fitness, which is my true love. Mm -hmm. um, so I truly, truly... Um, I teach Pilates classes. Mm -hmm. I teach aqua aerobics classes uh, for all different levels. Mm -hmm. um, I sometimes teach boot camps. Okay. And uh, very, you know, very few here and there, some individual type uh, boot camp trainings by, by specific appointment. I want to get away from it all. Away from this crazy world. Yeah, just to hear you speak to me. Just take me away from here. I've been taking Leah's Pilates class for about six months now. Um, I have noticed tremendous results in the way my stomach feels, my back, um, underneath my arms, even my legs. Um, I've noticed my posture has been getting better, you know, as far as standing and walking. Um, this class has really opened my mind to how the muscles work and how they all connect together. And she is very informative about why we should do Pilates. You definitely need to come to a Pilates class. It will change your life. Well, as a fitness instructor, Nitro, I really see myself um, as a role model. I, mm. I saw that I should have been a role model. Right. Um, and I didn't really like the way that I looked. Mm. Uh, I did a lot of physical activity, but I didn't have that tone mm -hmm. that a lot, a lot of women want. Okay. Um, I had some nice legs, but that was, that was kind of it. Okay. Um, so once I had a little more time on my hands, I lost my full-time job, and I was relying solely on my part-time job, I said, well, this is, this is the open door. This is, this is the sign. Okay. I should go ahead and, and try to give it a shot. So I went out and I did my research and I found a coach uh, who could guide me through it because okay. uh, I am a perfectionist, which I do think is necessary in order awesome. to be a top competitor because you really do need to be on your game. You need to uh, be really dedicated with yourself and on point so that you can do it. it it's a science. It really is a science. Um, so that's why I decided to do it. I wanted to be a better role model. Well, what uh, motivates you to do this incredible sport? You know, so tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. Um, well, mainly what motivated me was at the beginning, you know, mm -hmm. wanting to see the change. Um, and then as I started to see the changes, the motivation, it changes, you know. Uh, once you get to a certain level, then you're like, oh, I wonder if I could do this. I mm -hmm. wonder if I could do that. I wonder, you know, not just how much can I live, but, you know, how can I see my body change, mm -hmm. the shape and, and everything else. Um, and then I go out and I teach my classes and I get to stand in front of women who are not confident, who are not strong, um, who haven't had a lot of p attention paid to them, right. honestly, right. Um, who don't realize that if they don't take care of themselves, that they can't be that great mother and that great wife uh, that they could possibly be. Okay, so well, let's discuss your competition achievements. Let's talk a little bit about that. Okay, uh, no problem. Again, I'm very proud uh, to say that I actually started training in August of 2010. Um, I did my very first show as a, a sampler, shall we say. Okay. I did a bikini class just to kind of, you know, figure it out, always knowing that my goal was figure, um, but I wanted to just be on the scene and really just see what it was like backstage, which I definitely recommend mm, if yes. you're wondering. Maybe don't go into the, to the class that you ultimately want to be in, but try something that maybe doesn't stress you out as much and just learn. Mm. Um, so I didn't do particularly well there, but I learned a ton and I had a great time. Mm. I came right back. I did my very first novice show. Um, that was an SMBF show in April of, of uh, 
2011, I guess. Right. <laughs> and uh, I took first place. Look at you. <laughs> awesome job. Awesome job. So I knew that uh, I was kind of off to a pretty good start, so I was excited. Um, I did a few more shows, and uh, my second open show that I did was Where I Met You, mm -hmm. and that was actually where I got my pro card. So three shows in figure got me to that pro card, which I was excited about. Um, I went on to do two more pro shows. Uh, last in, the, in last year, I placed second and I placed fourth. Uh, won a lot of really great prizes. Mm -hmm. Felt like an absolute queen. Uh, learned something from each experience, for sure. So, to me, the trophy that you bring home is awesome, but that's really not the only achievement. You know, it's really about what you learn in the process and how you see yourself changing. Mm -hmm. um,